Hi everyone, here are my July favorites. The first one would be the Chikuhoto G12 right here. I'm gonna move brushes around. So this is a flat paddle liquid base brush made out of weasel hair. It shares the same head with the GSN 6 and it's flexible. It's kind of, it, while it's flexible, it's a little bit like, at the same time it's a little inflexible as you can see here, it's not, it doesn't have much give to it. It feels smooth when you sweep the product on with it and it is soft enough for my sensitive skin in the warmer months. I particularly love using this in the summer with tinted moisturizer. So I will dot the product onto different areas of my face and then I would go in with this brush and just sweep it across. And it does provide sh sheer and dewy coverage. So if you're not a fan of that, then I wouldn't recommend this brush for you. The finish is smooth without accentuating any pores. And weasel hair typically does not absorb as much product as other hair types. But this one in particular does absorb more than my fingers, just FYI. Okay, next we have the NARS Small Brightener. I do have a review on this brush on my, NAR, um, on my channel, so I'm not gonna go into specifics, but this has a nice tapered round shape. And I like to call it a rabbit's tail. It's really cute. I love this brush a lot and I'm still loving it. It's super soft, fluffy, and pleasant to use. So it has a good amount of spring to the hairs. I do mainly use it for cheekbone highlight, but you can also use it for setting small areas of the face and contouring. And this is definitely a holy grail brush for me. Okay, so next we have the Hakuhodo B507. This is a mix of squirrel and goat hair. So the salt and pepper hairs typically give natural finishes as opposed to a full goat brush that would give a very pigmented finish. So it's also very soft and I think it's suitable, suitable for all skin types. It has a flattened oval shape, cinched ferrules right here. The, the ferrule is cinched, so on the sides there's like, it's kind of pinched. Um, and it is labeled as a blush brush, but I do use it for bronzer specifically. Um, since the hairs are so soft, I don't use it with hard press products. I do pair it with Benefits Hula, which is more soft and powdery. It provides a, here let me, let me go like this. It's a really nice brush. It provides a soft finish and bronzer is the only, is bronzer is the only product I actually prefer a soft and diffuse finish of. I'm not a f big fan of bronzer in general, so I want something that will apply only a hint of it without overpowering the rest of my of my makeup makeup look, and this does just that. And next we have the Tonsedo. I put it on my brush. Tonsedo YWC17, and. This is a cute, round, fluffy, and kind of airy cheek brush. So it's really cute. It has a lot of hair, but still has some airiness to it. And I do really like it. It's made out of undyed psychoho. Oh, sorry, undyed sokoho. So it's so soft that it, it actually feels like psychoho to me. So. Sometimes I have to try to remember that it's Sokoho. So Tanseido Sokoho is as soft as some other brand Psychoho, just to let you know. And uh, due to the softness and sem semi airiness, it's more suitable for soft to medium press products. I think it pairs perfectly with Asian cheek formulas in general, like Addiction, Three, Surat, and soft pressed ones like Hourglass blushes. It does apply those, okay, let me put this down. It does apply those formulas better than Western harder pressed formula, formulas like NARS Exhibit A. I did try this brush with Exhibit A and it didn't apply as well as, you know, Hourglass's Radiant Magenta. And 
An issue I have found with this brush in particular is that it's a little hard to blend with since it's so soft, but I still really like it because it's it's fun to pet. It's it's just a really cute brush. And so the last brush I have is the Shosho Long Freesia Line M08 powder brush. They do still make this brush. It's just a little hard to get because it's Chinese made. And I got mine in the first few releases, I believe, um, about like two years ago. The hairs are really good quality for undyed cycle hole, or just good, not really good, but just good. And for many Chinese brands, later subsequent batches of hairs will typically use lower quality hair, which is why um, my last show show long haul I ever did, I think, like the hair quality and the bundling the craftsmanship was just not up to par. So if you buy it now, I can't guarantee that you would get a good batch of hairs, but I just really like the one that I have. And um, it's this is round and extremely dense. It's basically a huge co cotton puff to me. I really like it a lot, along with the other powder brush, the tapered one, which is the M01. And while the hairs aren't glossy and silky, the little coarseness it has gives the ability to pick up product very well. Um, I do love use, I love using it to apply powder. Like I love it more than let's say uh, the Koyudo Fua Fua, which is also has short hairs and um, it's very dense as well. But this one I just like more for some reason, maybe because the head is bigger, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it's soft enough for the warmer months and the resistance is great. It doesn't bend into the face weirdly and isn't too stiff. So that completes my July favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in another video. Bye.